Hello everyone. I never try to teach you something amazing because the experience of learning is amazing in itself. I always believe that we all have the ability to reach our goal. We just have to irrigate them. This small piece of video is not enough to crack entrances, but I know if you get a little motivation, then you will find by yourself where to learn, what to learn. And I hope this video will encourage you to move toward your goal. In this psychology video, we will talk about biological explanation of aggression. And I will also present question related to this theory that I found in an entrance exam. So let's begin. If possible, then pause the video and bring a notebook and pen. And if it is not possible, then save this video after watching so you can watch it again. Because the video is so important and it will be useful in every psychology entrance exams. As I mentioned, we will discuss aggression and their biological explanation. We will discuss biological explanation of aggression in this video. One popular social psychologist, Baron, defined aggression as behavior directed toward the goal of harming another living being who is motivated to avoid such treatment. When we analyze multiple theories, then we can say aggression is physical and psychological harm to yourself, others, or things in the environment. There are many ways to understand and explain aggression, but today we are discussing the biological explanation of aggression, which can be divided mainly into three parts. So we can say there are three major biological factors of aggression. First, genetic factor. Second, neural factor. And third, biochemical factor. In the beginning, we will talk about genetic factor. There are many studies who support a relation between genes and aggression, like McGuffin and Guttesman study that they presented in 1985. And according to this study, genes play significant role in aggression because concordance rate of aggression in identical twins is 87% and in fraternal twins is 72%. That means 87% characteristics in identical twins and 72% characteristics in, in fraternal twins related to aggression are same. One more prominent study presented by Mednick in 1973 and they found positive correlation between convicted fathers for aggressive behavior and their convicted son for harmful and aggressive behavior. So yes, genes are responsible for aggression. Along with genetic factor, neural factor is also responsible for aggression. According to Gibson, neural connection between the amygdala and prefrontal cortex help us control our negative emotions and aggression. So we can say the prefrontal cortex regulates the emotional responses driven by the amygdala. And damage to the prefrontal cortex can develop impulsivity, immaturity, and loss of control. Another brain structure, uh, corpus callosum, also play a role in aggression. We all know the main function of corpus callosum is to making link between left and right hemisphere. But they also involve in long-term planning, thinking, and damage in corpus callosum also lead to reckless behavior and aggression. And one interesting thing that division and junction found in their research. Cerebral cortex is less active in murderers in comparison in normal citizen. And they made hypothesis that less activity in cerebral cortex reduce ability to regulate emotions. So after genetic and neural factors, hormones and neurotransmitters is also responsible for aggression. 
there are so many hormones and chemicals that are responsible for aggression such as testosterone and cortisol there are many prominent researchers indicating that other chemicals are also responsible for aggression like according to heller and crook stress hormones like adrenaline noradrenaline acth and uh, glucocorticoids influence many behaviors including aggression they concluded that there are positive correlation between the level of aggressive behavior and level of acth and glucocorticoids another research conducted by hibbs and kesor indicated that serotonin is also important and playing important role in aggression along with all mentioned chemical few other neuropeptides and we can say substances are also responsible for aggression in humans like vasopressin and oxytocin right now it's time to answer a question right this question has been taken from an entrance exams and this question will be based on this video only so question is which part of the brain playing important role in aggression and your options are prefrontal cortex amygdala b premotor cortex amygdala c amygdala hippocampus and d prefrontal cortex and hippocampus after watching this video you must know the answer but if there is confusion then replay the video and try to find the answer and if you know the answer you can continue watching this video so correct answer is prefrontal cortex and amygdala explanations are already given in the video if you are still watching this video then i congratulate you for having so much love for psychology right just keep one thing in mind victory and defeat are a momentary part of life only one thing is perpetual that is learning so keep learning and if you have any query and doubt related to psychology psychology entrance examination then do not hesitate to reach us through comments and messages bye take care